Hey, Valentine. Are you ready to talk? How do you know to find me down in that old vault? Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about... I want you to come to my office. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Do this. Nick, let's talk when we get to my office. Hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Mm hmm. Happy to do it. Yeah? Here. I just, right. you know, if you're looking. Whoa. 
One ca All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. There was a man and a woman. So we're talking a small... What else can you... My wife was murdered. It's okay. So, we're talking about mm -hmm. anything else you remember? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of... You were on ice. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. You think raiders might have done this? I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, but infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I... might have. I... Everything was foggy. Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. The nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Oh, 
out of bobby pins. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Let's see if I can get this open. That's one heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? No bobby pins. Nick. We can't get through that door. No luck? Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance, near the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. easier if you use softer words, honey? Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? I'm trying to track down a man named Kellogg. Interesting. That's the guy who bought the house in the abandoned West Stands. Had that kid. If you are done crowding the reception area, Miss Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Mm hmm. So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? A man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. the key? All right. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. Gwinnett Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. 
Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. <laughs>